Greetings and welcome. This is Dr. B. D. Y. Sidhu, Associate Professor, Mechanical Engineering Department, Institute of Aeronautical Engineering, Hyderabad. In this session, we will be learning about the derivation for frequency and time period of simple pendulum. The outcome of the code of today's topic would be compute the time period and frequencies of simple compound and torsional pendulums using the basics of free and force vibrations. The topic covered would be derivation of for frequency and time period of simple pendulum. Topic learning outcome is understand the concepts of free and forced vibrations with simple harmonic motion and apply them to field problems. First let us see what is the simple pendulum. A simple pendulum consists of a heavy bob of certain mass m tied to one end of an inextensible string, the other end of which is fixed to a rigid support. The bob swings forward and backwards in simple harmonic motion. Here, as you can see, the pendulum is fixed at point O and the length of the pendulum is considered as small letter L here. And this is the bob which is tied to the string. The weight of the bob is considered as Mg which is acting vertically downwards and the acceleration force which is from which will be acting towards this direction which is the acceleration force is considered and S is the maximum distance that is happening. Now the time period of simple pendulum let theta be the angle made by the string to the vertical. As you can see in the figure theta is the inclination that we are considering for maximum moment of the bob. L be the length of the string and from the figure sin theta is equal to F by Mg. There we are considering the triangle, velocity triangle or the directional triangle for forces which are acting has been drawn here and this force triangles will be considered uh, and the, for that thing the theta inclination if we apply sin theta here that would be opposite which is F and by hypotenuse it is Mg. So this sin theta which is f by mg is obtained by using the uh, force triangles that is that has been drawn from the given figure. So from this we can write f is equal to mg sin theta and we know f is equal to ma that is equal to mg sin theta. From this if we write a is equal to g sin theta or we can say it is a is proportional to theta take it as equation 1 and also from figure we can say that S is equal to theta into L that means the length of the arc we can write the, with the equation theta into L. So this gives S is proportional to theta again as L is the constant we can say uh, S is proportional to theta and in the first equation let we are taking this as the second equation and in the first equation as acceleration due to gravity is constant A is constructed to be uh, proportional to the theta. From equations 1 and 2 we can say A is directly proportional to S as A is proportional to theta and A S is proportional to theta we can write A is proportional to S which defines simple harmonic motion. So we can say that the movement of the uh, pendulum, simple pendulum, the movement of the simple pendulum or the vibration of the simple pendulum is termed as the simple harmonic motion by the derivation which we have done here. So we have the acceleration Ax is equal to omega square x. From this, if we write As is equal to omega square s, which will implies the dub omega is equal to under root A by s where A is the acceleration and S is the displacement. Now the time period can be obtained as T is equal to 2 pi by omega that is equal to 2 pi by under root A by S. So which will be written as 2 pi under root S by A that gives 2 pi under root theta into L by G sin theta. So this S value and A value are taken from the equations 1 and 2 there. 
TDC which we have obtained. So, those are theta into L by G sin theta. Therefore, the time period T of simple pendulum is given as 2 pi under root L by G. So, we can remember this equation which is the acceleration to the displacement ratio. Right, under root acceleration to the displacement ratio for further uh, implementation of the values. Since for small angle theta is equal to sin theta, here sin theta has been replaced with theta and the numerator and denominator, the theta gets cancelled as the theta value is very small, we can take the sin theta value as theta. This concludes the session. Thank you. Like, share and subscribe. Hit the bell icon for more updates.